I think I might regret this one, but welcome to Tag Back, the show where we take a look at a blaster from the past to see what it could offer us today in the present. At this time. I don't usually like to talk about this kind of stuff because then you're going to get people like this. You won't believe what I found in my local Goodwill to flip on eBay for millions of dollars. First was this Phoenix 2.0 that I wanted $13 for, but I found two on eBay for $17. Next up is the Nerf Flip 8. Goodwill wanted $8 for it, but at Target it sells for $13. That's mad profit. The Nerf Ultra 1 is one of the greatest blasters of all time. I sell this thing left, right, front, and center. They wanted $20, bucks, but I'm smarter than that. It's worth so much more. Last up is this Nerf Ultra 2. They want 13 bucks for it, but I can sell it to my neighbor for at least 14. But we'll just hope that they're not watching videos like mine, because today we're talking about some very rare and exceedingly expensive foam dart blasters. The Small Soldier Super Tech 500, and one of the rarest, most expensive foam dart blasters in existence, the Small Soldier Super Tech 9000. Gotta be some kind of freaking blaster I can talk about for a video. I think I've done it. Definitely done that. I don't even know what this thing is. Jose, what are you doing in there? Ben? So Kingdom Hearts 3, I swear to God, dude. So, did I tell you about the whole freaking MacGuffin thing about... Okay, so Hades shows up and he's like, hey boys, what are they doing here? And then freaking you got Maleficent and Pete, they're like, hey yo, where's a box at? And he's like, yo, which box? He's like, Pandora's box. No, not that box. They're looking for a black box and they don't tell you what's in the box. Jump to the end of the game. No one brings up the box again until the freaking Organization 13 member, the only one that lived, he was like, hey yo, cult people, come meet me here. Beat me up, Scotty. And he's like, hey, I have the box. They open the box, but they don't show us. You know, the people, hi, here's some money. They, they don't show us what's in the box. And then guess what? The cult people are like, uh, we, what are we going to do with this shit? Really? So did they ever explain why Roxas looks like Ventus, even though he's Sora's nobody? It's because of Aqua. She touched Sora so he can have a Keyblade in the future because he's a little kid, which... Don't take that out of context. So because of that, when she went to go seal away Ventus's soul or whatever, his heart went into Sora's heart, which made his heartless nobody look like Ventus. Yeah, that, uh, that makes perfect sense. By the way, do you mind if I do a video on these while you have them here? Yeah, come on, this will be fun. And we have these blasters today, special thanks to one Lucha Thor 13. Because for some reason, he owns all of the rare blasters. However, I have one thing that he does not. And that is the probably rarer ammo for these stupid blasters. The Laramie Dart. Which I only own because I have an inbox Supermax 5000. So in terms of rarity, the Supermax 5000 is up there. But if you want one, you can get it. Above that, you've got the Supermax 2000. Same blaster different shell. Above that, you've got the freaking Super Tech 9000 Small Soldiers version. And at the very tippy top, you have the Super Tech 9000 from the Super Tech 9000 set. That is, I believe, one of the most expensive dart blasters you could ever get your hands on. But all of these are worth way too much money. So do you remember anything from Small Soldiers? Not really. I remember watching it in theaters when I was a kid. That's all I remember. <laughs> I remember the Burger King toys. Man, find the Gorgonites! And you, where's my booster chair? If you ask us, it just tastes better. But I can tell you I haven't seen that movie in the last two decades. All right, Lucha, how much did you pay for these? Uh, I want to say around 
200-ish, maybe slightly above the less. Which is very good because this not only owns this and that, but these and this as well. All of the things. All of the things. Really sucks because like I, I don't usually have like spare monies, but I remember specifically seeing one of these in box on eBay for like 50 bucks and not being able to buy it. I don't think I've ever seen a box for one of these. And this is only like the second time I've ever seen one in person. So what makes them expensive? They're rare. Very rare. As of this moment, just before we shot the video, there is one available on eBay. And that kind of denotes rare. It doesn't always mean that something's gonna be expensive because for something rare to be expensive, it has to be desirable. But if something is rare and desirable and you can't find it when you readily want one, that's what makes it very expensive. Now, why would the small soldier super tech blasters be desirable? Uh, one, it looks right as hell. <laughs> I agree completely. Uh, this is a pump, so it's an air blaster and these, uh. If you were to single these, I wouldn't do it to like this variant specifically, but if you're to single one, I've seen him hit close to 500 FPS. Oh yeah, air blasters are absolutely no joke. These were the snipers for a long time. So if you were to compare the Supermax 5000 to the Supertech 9000, they're pretty much the same blaster. Really the only difference is the fact that this thing was not built to shoot multiple different types of ammo out of the box, although there's no reason why it couldn't because it has the same exact barrel mechanism on the front of it, but it has the built-in scope and the built-in stock, which the Supermax series did not have. Do you know if these have like a designation beyond the Supertech 9000 small soldiers? I don't. Is it just Supertech small soldiers? <laughs> But these blasters are air powered. So theoretically, if you wanted to just go full baller, you 100% could use one of these in at pretty much any game at any power level. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, I don't know why they took a movie about action figures and made foam dart blasters to tie in for it. So the pistol is just a reshell of the Supermax 500 from Laramie. It's the same exact dart blaster, it just has the scope on the top, which means it's actually a reshell of the Supertech 500, an exceedingly rare blaster that is identical to this thing, just without this paint scheme on it. And that means that both these blasters are just reshells of things we already have. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but this is an exceptionally rare dart because I only have the four of them and they were brand new in package. Yeah, the Laramie dart is odd because it's unlike any other foam dart out there. It's not a mega dart or a vintage mega dart, but it's not a new mega dart. It's its, its own caliber of dart and they're designed completely differently because half the dart is solid foam. And then of course the suction tip on the end. It doesn't feel like many blasters used this dart and refill packs, I've never seen one. But we just load the dart into the front barrel pump it up a couple of times and fire. And it fires pretty well because it's an air blaster. On the 9000 series, you have to use this barrel, which is the same barrel that the Supermax 5000 and all those variants. They're all the same barrel system. Front load into the barrel, pump it up, pull the trigger and it fires. And it fires at pretty much the same exact velocity. Yeah, normally I'm not for like selling stuff, especially things that you thrift, but these things really, the only use they have is being eBayed for money to people like me who are dumb enough to buy it and then put it on a wall behind them and recoup that investment via YouTube ad revenue. They're absolutely awesome, but if you wanted pretty much the same thing performance wise and with the same mod ability, just, just buy a Supermax 5000. They even have the printed parts. You can put the same stock on there. That easy. And this is just a Supermax 500, so Granted, I don't have a Supermax 500. I found the corpse of one and it's a blaster I really like because it's just a super powerful single shot. And I love this vintage aesthetic and also the fact that it looks like something out of Splatoon, but it is just not worth the heartache or the danger. Just sell it, recoup your money. It sucks, I have to say that, but if you find these color schemes sitting in a bin or something at Goodwill, just probably buy it. The scopes don't do anything. This thing's barrel, since it's a Supermax style barrel, they get lost and then nobody knows what they go to, so they wound up getting destroyed and stuff like that. It's a shame. And even honestly, if you found one like this, where it's like, it's clearly broken at the top and the front of the scope is missing, 
it's not even, you can't really even use it for parts. All this rarity collectible value for, for a cult classic movie, but it's nothing truly unique. And I guess that means that they've been reshelling dart blasters for a lot longer than we realize. But they are absolutely awesome. And if you did find one of the 500s and you really wanted to mod it, I mean, you have three of them and there's still some on eBay. Yeah, I could see somebody modifying one of these, you know, brass in the barrel, you know, plug in the pump and getting some stupid, ridiculous single shot blaster out of it. Mm. But again, you could pay like 10, 15 bucks and get a Supermax 500. That's basically the same thing. Ah, oh, and good luck finding the ammo for these things. Cause uh, <laughs> these are the only ones I think I have. Actually, that was one of the original things. You you couldn't find ammo for them, could you? Yeah, no. I was like, uh, okay. I and I was really lucky to have the couple that I did. Hmm. So they got the fling foam one last time before they get relegated to wherever you're going to stuff them. Bin, wall, yeah, something. Something. And they'll live out the rest of their days in retirement, safe and sound, in the Luchathor armory. And I want to thank Luchathor for bringing these over because uh, otherwise I would have never had a chance to actually use them. Like I said, I've only ever seen one of these blasters in person at an event that somebody had it. And you know, you're likely to come across kind of rare things at an event. But when the only one I see on eBay, they want like 250 bucks for it. No, that's, that's too rich for my blood. But would you say you got your money's worth? Oh yeah. What's the maximum you'd pay for one of those things? Right, right now? Yeah. If I saw this, like, oh, give me, probably lowballing 150, but I mean. Would you, would you, you'd pay 150 right now for one? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a, pretty good price to be perfectly honest like 150 i feel is fair for that mm. well thank you very much for watching this video i'm of course walk 7 and this was luchathor 13 did you know he has his own youtube channel and he's actually posting there on a somewhat frequently more basis than before where you uploaded once in like three years yeah <laughs> pretty bad so make sure you check him out i have a card in the top right corner of course a link down below in the description where you can check out his content it's pretty funny thank you very much for watching this video and of course if you got all the way to the end you might like what we do here so please hit like get subscribed ring the bell leave a comment do all that algorithmic garbage to help the channel grow so you can help the hobby grow and of course i hope to see you in an entirely different video man thanks again lucha for letting me borrow these